Hey guys, did you ever ponder over the concept called duty of water? Well, it's nothing but a simple irrigation concept which deals with the water requirement for a crop. In its simplest terms, the duty of water can be explained as the area of land that can be irrigated with the unit volume of irrigation water. To utilize this aspect of water to its full advantage, we first need to know what's called a base period of a crop. It is essentially the time required for the full growth of crop before it is harvested or matures. And it varies with the type of crop. For example, sugarcane might have a base period of 120 days while wheat might have a base period of 50 days. So when you know the base period of the crop, you can find out the duty of water which is generally expressed in hectares. It's the area irrigated for the entire base period when water is supplied at the rate of 1 meter cube per second. With this, we can find out the volume required for the entire base period of the crop. This volume of water is subjected to losses like evaporation and filtration when it's diverted from the river into the main canal and supplied to the crop field. So as the volume of water decreases, the duty of water increases as it's inversely related to the volume. This relation between the volume of water and duty of water helps us to find the required discharge for different crops in different fields of areas. Because when we obtain the duty or area that can be achieved at unit discharge, we can use this to calculate the required discharge for the actual area of crop or field that is available. Duty of water also depends upon other factors like climate, soil, rainfall, and of course the type of crop. So in a way, even water has got to do its duty. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.